For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says express the force F in Cartesian vector form as if uh, B was acting uh, somewhere in this rod right in the middle. So first we need to find our position vectors. So position vector A sits at 0i plus 0j plus 4k. Position vector B sits at negative 1.5i because it's half this, then it's half this, and then it's half this. Since it sits at exactly half, so it's negative 1.5 i which is uh, 3 divided by 2 plus 2j which is 4 divided by 2 i mean sorry this is 4 divided by 2 plus 2k now this 4 divided by 2 so c sits at negative 3i plus 4j plus 0k and d sits at 4i plus 6j plus 0k so the force vector is aiming at the same line that goes from b to d so we're gonna need to find vector b d vector b d is position vector d minus position vector b which is equal to dx minus bx in the i plus dy minus by in the j plus d c minus b c in the k so when you plug the numbers in for vector d and vector b you're gonna get that this is equal to 5.5 i plus 4j minus 2k now what we need to find is the magnitude of this vector and it is fine by doing the square root of x square plus y square plus c square which are these three components you plug them into here and when you do you're gonna get that the magnitude is equal to 7.08 and now you can find the uni vector bd by dividing the vector over the magnitude and that's going to give you the uni vector vd which is a vector right here with a magnitude of one and that uni vector dividing these three values by this 7.8 it's going to give you 0.777 in the i plus 0.565 in the j minus 0.282 in the k you're given the force i mean the magnitude of the force is equal to 600 so if you wanted to find the cartesian vector form of the force all you gotta do is multiply the magnitude times the uni vector bd that is going in the same direction which is equal to multiply each of these values by this 600 and you're gonna get the Cartesian vector form which comes out to be 466.2 i plus 339 j minus 169.2 k final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.